exploring the wonders of Idaho. Welcome to Idaho. While it may be an underrated destination in the United States, its natural beauty and serene atmosphere truly deserve recognition. The state boasts breathtaking mountain ranges, countless waterfalls, rivers, and pristine lakes. With its fresh air and peaceful atmosphere, Idaho offers an ideal retreat featuring scenic hiking and biking trails, perfect for both relaxation and business discussions. It's no surprise that Idaho has become a preferred escape for the wealthy, providing tranquility as well as promising business opportunities. With its vast, untouched landscapes, Idaho remains one of the best-kept secrets for living, unwinding, and connecting with nature. Idaho was once claimed by both the British and the United States in the 1800s. Idaho was part of the Oregon country, according to the United States. However, the British considered it part of the Columbia District, which included parts of today's Idaho, Oregon, Washington, Wyoming, Montana, and British Columbia. The Oregon Treaty of 1846 granted the U.S. full control of the area, except for what is now British Columbia. The name Idaho is a made-up word. It was invented by George Willing in the 1800s who asserted that it was a Native American term meaning gem of the mountains. That's just a brief overview of Idaho and now we'll delve deeper into its stunning mountains, pristine lakes, and the unique cultural heritage that makes this state a remarkable destination. Boise. Boise, the capital and largest city of Idaho, serves as the seat of Ada County since 1864. Situated along the Boise River in the southwestern part of the state, Boise enjoys relatively mild winters due to the protective mountains to the north that shield it from Canadian blizzards while summers are hot and dry. Residents love living in Boise for its affordable cost of living, low crime rate, and easy access to outdoor activities, public transit, and pleasant climate. Embrace the outdoors in Boise, a city known for its abundant green spaces and an active lifestyle where both locals and visitors enjoy river rafting and snow tubing in the nearby Bogus Basin. With a lively downtown, numerous festivals, and the Boise River running through it, there's plenty to do year-round, from tubing in the summer to exploring local trails.
Boise is also home to a large university, Boise State University, located on a 285-acre campus in the heart of Idaho's capital, bordered by the Boise River, Capitol Boulevard, and Broadway Avenue, featuring over 200 student clubs, a riverside dormitory with more than 2,000 beds, and a state-of-the-art recreation center for student activities. The Idaho State Capitol. The Idaho State Capitol in Boise serves as the seat of government for the U.S. state of Idaho. While Lewiston briefly held the title of capital following the formation of Idaho Territory in 1863, the territorial legislature relocated it to Boise on December 24, 1864. For nearly a century, the capital's stunning sandstone walls have witnessed the passage of laws, debates on pressing issues, and the protection of citizens' rights. The building showcases a Renaissance Revival architectural style, incorporating numerous Greek elements. Its most notable feature is the terracotta dome crowned by a 5-foot 7-inch bronze eagle that symbolizes Idaho's aspirations and commitment to democracy. Remarkably, the Boise Capitol building is the only state capital in the country that utilizes geothermal heating, drawing its water source from 3,000 feet underground. If you are watching this, then click the subscribe button in the corner of the screen. It is completely free but means a lot to us. The Snake River The Snake River is the largest tributary of the Columbia River and one of the most significant waterways in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Originating in Wyoming, it arcs across southern Idaho before turning north along the Idaho-Oregon border and eventually flowing west into Washington, where it meets the Columbia River. Historically, the Snake River Basin was vital, producing about half of all spring Chinook salmon that returned to the Columbia Basin. The river likely received its name from early European explorers who misinterpreted a sign made by the Shoshone people. The Shoshone identified themselves in sign language by moving their hand in a swimming motion, which the explorers mistakenly interpreted as resembling a snake. In reality, this gesture indicated that they live near a river abundant with fish. The Boise River The Boise River stretches for 102 miles and serves as a tributary to the Snake River in the northwestern region of the United States. This river flows through a rugged area of the Sawtooth Range in southwestern Idaho, located northeast of Boise, and also traverses part of the western Snake River Plain. Yeah. 
The watershed encompasses approximately 4,100 square miles of highly diverse habitats, including alpine canyons, forests, rangelands, agricultural lands, and urban areas. The Boise River, which shares the city's name, is sparkling cold and clean, lined with a lovely walking path, numerous shady parks, and thousands of tall trees. Floating on rafts and tubes down the Boise River has become a summer rite of passage. Payette Lake Located just a mile east of McCall, Payette Lake is a water lover's paradise in west central Idaho. Formed by glacial runoff millions of years ago, the lake lies in the upper drainage basin of the Payette River, which flows into the Snake River at an elevation of 5,180 feet. Payette Lake is celebrated worldwide for its stunning beauty, often regarded as one of the most picturesque lakes many have ever encountered. Home to diverse wildlife such as fish and birds, Payette Lake serves as a hub for water-related activities and recreational sports, including swimming, sailing, and leisurely picnics along its scenic shores. With a wide range of activities to enjoy, visitors and their families are captivated not only by the lake's romantic sunsets, but also by the thrill of engaging in water sports. Henry's Fork Lake Henry's Lake is one of Idaho's stunning high mountain lakes and a true paradise for anglers. It is renowned for its exceptional trout fishing, attracting those seeking cutbow hybrid trout in what many consider one of the best trout fisheries in the West. The expansive Henry's Fork watershed, which spans eastern Idaho and western Wyoming, covers 1.7 million acres and features over 3,000 miles of rivers, streams, and canals. This watershed is nourished by high mountain streams and warm natural springs feeding the Henry's Fork of the Snake River as it winds through deep canyons and descends into the agricultural heart of the upper Snake River Valley. This vibrant ecosystem supports abundant fish and wildlife populations, offering visitors a wealth of high-quality recreational opportunities. Twin Falls Twin Falls stands as a vibrant center in southern Idaho, bustling with a community of over 53,000 residents, making up more than half of the county's population of 92,000. Perched at a high desert elevation of 3,745 feet, the city is framed by the magnificent Snake River Canyon to the north, the state line of Nevada to the south, and the majestic Sawtooth Mountains in the distance.
Twin Falls thrives on agribusiness, which forms the backbone of its economy, encompassing diverse sectors like food production, processing, and research. The awe-inspiring Snake River Canyon and the stunning Shoshone Falls, dubbed the Niagara of the West, are major attractions. Twin Falls is just a starting point for exploring the rich offerings of South Central Idaho. The small towns that pepper the region are full of charm and intrigue, featuring scenic state parks and a wealth of World War II history for those eager to discover more about Idaho. Shoshone Falls. The Snake River Canyon is home to Shoshone Falls, a stunning 212-foot waterfall situated near Twin Falls, which surpasses even Niagara Falls in height. The canyon stretches for miles, running the entire length of the town. Visitors to the falls can enjoy a diverse array of recreational facilities including playgrounds, hiking trails, picnic areas, a boat ramp, and a designated swimming area, along with a scenic overlook for breathtaking views. The best time to experience the falls is during spring and early summer when water flows are at their peak, influenced by winter snowmelt. Perrine Bridge, spanning the Snake River Canyon, offers stunning views and a bit of adrenaline for adventure seekers. It's one of the few places in the country where base jumping is allowed year-round. Quite the thrill, isn't it? Salmon Falls Dam, Salmon Falls Dam, built in the early 20th century, is a significant piece of Idaho's history. This impressive structure not only provides irrigation but also offers recreational opportunities like fishing and boating, a perfect blend of utility and beauty. The Salmon Falls Creek Reservoir created by the dam is now a popular recreational lake and is known as one of the top fishing spots in southern Idaho. At the time of its completion, the dam was the third largest in the world. However, the project faced challenges due to lower than expected water availability and leakage through the lava rock used in construction. Sun Valley. Sun Valley in Blaine County, South Central Idaho, is a popular year-round recreation and winter sports destination, situated along the Big Wood River in the Sawtooth National Forest, just east of Ketchum. The town sits at an elevation of 5,750 feet, while the nearby ski mountain Mount Baldy reaches 9,150 feet. Mount Baldy is regarded by serious skiers as one of the best ski mountains in the U.S., featuring three beautiful day lodges and a historic mid-mountain restaurant offering both casual and fine dining. Developed by the Union Pacific Railroad in 1936, Sun Valley later served as a U.S. Navy recovery center from 1943 to 1946. Private investors acquired the area in 1964 and transformed it into one of the world's premier ski resorts.
The region enjoys a dry mountain desert climate with 30% average humidity and 15 inches of annual precipitation. and Morrison Park. Ann Morrison Park, established in 1959. Ann Morrison Park is a vast urban park located along the Boise River, stretching from Americana Boulevard to Capitol Boulevard. The park was purchased by Harry W. Morrison in honor of his late wife, Ann Morrison. Bonner's Ferry. Bonner's Ferry, formally established in 1893 along the south bank of the Kootenai River, quickly grew into a bustling town, though much of it had to be built on stilts to protect against spring floods. Nestled at the northern tip of Idaho in Boundary County, this charming town is surrounded by breathtaking natural beauty. McCall. McCall, located just two hours north of Idaho's state capital, McCall is a picturesque mountain town known for its scenic beauty and outdoor activities. Home to Ponderosa State Park and Payette Lake, McCall offers a wide range of family-friendly activities from hiking and boating to exploring hot springs. Originally established as a logging town, McCall has become a prime destination for outdoor enthusiasts, with the highest average snowfall in Idaho, making it a popular winter spot for snowmobiling and skiing, including alpine, nordic, and backcountry adventures. McCall also boasts a welcoming small-town atmosphere with opportunities for families to connect with nature, a strong job market, and a highly rated school district. The Luxa River The Loxa River is a true gem of Idaho, providing paddlers with miles of exhilarating whitewater. Located parallel to Scenic Highway 12, northeast of Lowell, its name, which means rough water in the Nez Perce language, perfectly captures its character. Its exciting rapids and easy accessibility make it one of the best day trip paddling locations in the state. Sawtooth Range Idaho's Sawtooth Range, part of the Rocky Mountains in central Idaho, reaches a maximum elevation of 10,751 feet at Thompson Peak and covers an area of 678 square miles. This stunning mountain range features 57 peaks, all ranging between 10,000 and 10,751 feet in height. Within the Sawtooth Range and Wilderness, Nearly 400 lakes have formed due to receding alpine glaciers.
This breathtaking landscape was a beloved retreat for Ernest Hemingway, who was buried in the nearby Ketchum area. The jagged peaks rising over 10,000 feet not only lend the range its name, but also offer spectacular views. Magic Reservoir Magic Reservoir, located north of the city and about 36 miles south of Sun Valley. Magic Reservoir was constructed between 1909 and 1911, and is celebrated as one of the dam-building marvels of the world. To reach the reservoir, travelers can head south on Highway 75, passing the junction with Highway 20, and then turn west onto East Magic Reservoir Road. Spanning 14,000 acres, Magic Reservoir features extensive water and shoreline, making it one of Southern Idaho's prime locations for fishing, boating, and water skiing. This semi-developed recreational area is managed by the Bureau of Land Management and offers year-round access, with ice fishing being particularly popular during the winter months. Idaho Falls Idaho Falls is the seat of Bonneville County in southeastern Idaho, situated along the Upper Snake River. With a population of approximately 67,000 residents, it stands as the largest city east of Idaho's capital, offering a friendly business climate, some of the lowest utility rates in the nation, and unparalleled recreational opportunities. In 1890, the town was renamed Idaho Falls after the wide cataract in the river measuring 1,500 feet, which now serves as a source of hydroelectric power. Idaho Falls, Idaho Temple. Perched on the banks of the Snake River just above the beautiful cascades that give the city its name, the Idaho Falls, Idaho Temple stands as a remarkable landmark in the heart of Idaho Falls. This temple holds the distinction of being the only one dedicated by President George Albert Smith and was the first to be constructed in the central part of the city. Originally known simply as the Idaho Falls Temple, it features a statue of the angel Moroni atop its spire, a casting created by LeVar Walgren. Lake Coeur d'Alene. Lake Coeur d'Alene is a beautiful oasis renowned for its crystal clear waters and stunning landscapes. Located in the heart of Idaho as northern Idaho's second largest lake, it was formed during the last ice age when significant portions of ice began to melt and shift as the earth cooled. Spirit Lake
Spirit Lake, located in Kootenai County, Idaho, sits at an elevation of 2,440 feet and is known for its serene beauty. Referred to as the Lake of the Spirit by local Native Americans, the lake is steeped in legend and believed to be haunted by the spirit of a heartbroken woman. With 12 miles of shoreline it offers recreational opportunities like boating and fishing during the summer and ice fishing in the winter. Interestingly, it is one of only two lakes in the world with a sealed bottom, adding to its unique natural allure. Lava Hot Springs Lava Hot Springs is nestled in the scenic Portneuf River Valley and has become a beloved resort destination famed for its diverse array of hot springs and soaking pools. These springs emerge from natural underground sources, offering water that is rich in minerals yet completely odorless promising a soothing and healthful experience for visitors. For the more adventurous, the Portneuf River presents exhilarating inner tube runs where the waters are pleasantly warmed by the nearby hot springs. Open throughout the year, Lava Hot Springs World Famous Hot Springs boast a remarkable flow of over 2.5 million gallons of mineral-rich water daily. This continual influx keeps the springs refreshing and clean, making it a perfect retreat for those seeking relaxation and rejuvenation. Upper Mesa Falls. Upper Mesa Falls was created when Henry's Fork carved its canyon deep enough to reach a particularly resilient layer of hard volcanic rock. As the canyon continued to deepen downstream, a ledge formed that directed the river's flow over it. The softer layers beneath the hard rock allowed the falling water to undercut the ledge, leading to the gradual breaking away of chunks of the harder material. This process resulted in the sharp lip and dramatic drop of the waterfall that we admire today. Standing at approximately 114 feet tall and 300 feet wide, Upper Mesa Falls showcases a powerful cascade of water equivalent to the height of a 10-story building flowing over the remnants of an ancient volcanic supereruption that covered much of present-day America. Redfish Lake Redfish Lake is approximately 5 miles south of Stanley, with a paved access road from State Highway 75 leading visitors to its north shore.
Robert Limbert established the Redfish Lake Lodge on 16 acres of land authorized by the U.S. Forest Service, positioned along this stunning five-mile-long glacial lake nestled in the Sawtooth Mountains in 1929. As the largest lake in the Sawtooth National Recreation Area, Redfish Lake offers a variety of recreational opportunities, including fishing, boating, kayaking, and swimming. The lake is named for the vibrant sockeye salmon, which once returned from the Pacific Ocean in such incredible numbers that the water would appear to shimmer red during their spawning season. Bay Horse. Bay Horse is a ghost town situated in Custer County, Idaho, founded in 1877, although significant development did not commence until 1880. Once a bustling mining town primarily supported by substantial nearby silver deposits, Bay Horse is located close to the land of the Yankee Fork State Park. Much of the original town remains, including log cabins and frame structures with clabbered siding and board and batten designs. Palisades Reservoir. Palisades Reservoir is a significant year-round recreational destination located in southeast Idaho and west-central Wyoming, managed by the Caribou Targhee National Forest. Formed by the Palisades Dam, this 25-square-mile reservoir offers a range of activities such as boating, fishing, and hiking along its 70 miles of shoreline. The area provides convenient access for watercraft, and nearby vendors offer boat rentals for visitors. Contrary to popular belief, Palisades Reservoir is not just a summer hotspot, it's a valued natural resource enjoyed throughout the year. The National Forest Service ensures that campgrounds and facilities are well maintained, providing a scenic and enjoyable experience for all visitors. and Anthony Sand Dunes. The St. Anthony Sand Dunes in Idaho cover over 10,600 acres of shifting quartz sand, with dunes reaching heights of up to 400 feet. While much of the area is a wilderness study zone, it is popular for off-road vehicles, with easy access to the smaller dunes from Red Road and to the larger dunes from the Egan Lakes area. In winter, the big dunes west of Thunder Mountain are closed to protect wildlife habitats. Deary. Deary is a charming small town in Idaho with a population of just over 500 people, nestled in the rolling hills of the Palouse region about 30 miles east of Moscow and 42 miles from Lewiston.
The settlement, originally owned by African Americans Joe and Lou Wells, was first known as Spud Hill and later as Anderson, serving as a way station on the road to the forests at Beauville, Idaho. It was renamed Deary when the railroad reached the area. Founded in 1907, the town took its name from William Deary, a prominent figure in the lumber industry. Known for its quiet, peaceful lifestyle and friendly community, Deary has deep roots in logging and farming, with many original 20th century buildings still standing in the downtown area. The town is surrounded by scenic natural beauty, offering outdoor activities. Situated at the base of Potato Hill, Deary provides numerous campsites and trails for residents and visitors to enjoy. Whether for its picturesque landscape or welcoming atmosphere, Deary is an ideal spot for those who love the mountains and a close-knit community. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the beautiful attractions of Idaho. We hope you enjoyed discovering these gems as much as we did. Until next time, happy travels.